You know, you're looking at Jamie Cox, 28-year-old Swindon South, for 18 wins in a row. He's got a chance to win the vacant WBO European Super Middleweight title. Here's Mark Burdis. Ladies and gentlemen, Frank Warren for Queensbury Promotions, sponsored by Coral and Raynham Steel. Proudly presents 10 three-minute rounds for the vacant WBO Super Middleweight Championship from the SSE Arena here at Wembley in London. Your officials are appointed by the WBO and your three scoring judges at ringside are Mr. Dave Paris of the UK, Mr. Igno Barabbas of Germany and Mr. Miguel Hook of Sweden. Your WBO supervisor is Miss Marion Palatin of Austria. Your steward in charge is Mick Collier. Your timekeeper at the bell is Bob Edgeworth. And when the action begins, your referee in charge is Mr. Steve Gray of the United Kingdom. And now to introduce the contestants. Firstly, fighting out of the red corner. He has a record of 21 wins, seven losses, one draw, with 12 KOs to his name, weighing in 12 stone, eight pounds, four ounces, and tonight he wears the white shorts. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome from Mola, Switzerland, Blas Miguel Martinez. And across the ring in the blue corner stands a former Commonwealth light middleweight champion with an unbeaten record of 18 wins with 10 KOs to his name. At yesterday's weigh-in, he scaled 11 stone, 13 pounds, 2 ounces, and tonight he wears the black and gold shorts. Please welcome from Swindon, Jamie Cole. Your referee will now give his final instructions to both boxers. Oz, Jimmy. Jimmy. Okay, boys, if a cold break, you take one step back. Don't let any of your punches go in the back of the head and protect yourselves at all times. Touch gloves, touch them all. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the vacant WBO European Super Middleweight Championship. Jamie Cox. Once one of the brightest young prospects in the country. Won that Commonwealth light middleweight title back in September 2011. Only two fights since then. And the biggest reason for that, hand injuries. He's been blighted by them. But he came back in February, blasted out Alistair Warren. A first round knockout. He's a popular fighter, big following here tonight. And he'll be looking to produce something spectacular to continue his reannouncement of his presence in this super middleweight division. And look at him going for Martinez from word go. Fast hands and powerful as well. He's just started where he, where he finished off with Alastair Warren. Came out like a bull out the gate and he's done it again. Martinez lives in Switzerland, but he's the Spanish champion by virtue of his parentage and beaten in his last four, but he's taking some really heavy shots in this opening round. And he's picking his shots as well, Jamie Cox. He's not just swinging wild punches, they're all power, but he's looking for the target. The guy he says he'd like to fight is Chris Eubank Jr. I wonder if Chris is watching here, junior and senior. Well, I, bet they, I bet they'll be having a look somewhere. Well, imagine them two fighting, but two explosive fighters. Oh, Good body what shot. a shot! What a great shot! One around the back of the head, and you can't do that. Now, is he going to get away with it, or is Steve Gray going to have a word with him? Because as he sank down, there was a punch around the back of the head, which is not allowed. Now, what's he going to do with it? I think he's saying it was low. It might have been low. Well, I thought it was good. From this, from this I thought it was good. Really I thought yeah. I thought it was a punch around the back of the head. He was going to get told for. Oh, good shots again. Ticking his shots, lovely, Jamie Cox. So strong. He's Just haven't a... given Martinez a chance to get into the fight, is he? Oh, oh good lovely. shots. He has absolutely pounded the ample midriff of Martinez. He's got up, but he hurts. That really hurts, and there's 45 seconds to go. Another one, and it more than towels come in. The towels come in from the Martinez corner, and it's all over in the first round. 
There's a little bit of Jamie Cox for just about everybody. Lives in Swindon, dad's from Donegal, mother's Welsh. Good fighter. Yeah, we'll take him. What a great one of the great Welsh fighters, possibly Jamie Cox. <laughs> <laughs> he, he looks very good. He just, he just the same with Alison Wallen, just don't give the people a chance to get into a fight. And he, and he, he like, he don't just, everything's power and speed, but he don't just swing his shots. He picks targets on the body, you know, picks a great body. He, that body shot there was from range. He wasn't close up with that right hook to the body. He threw that from an outside stance. He's a, he's a talent. He's not just aggressive and strong. He got good boxing skills. Yeah, he's, you know, he's a little bit nasty as well. Good amateur pedigree as well. I mean, he first really came on the radar. Look at that great body shot. But he first came on the radar when he won the ABA title back in 2006, and then the Commonwealth Games yes. gold medal in the same year. And it all looked as though he's sort of destined for superstar. And then he's had these injury problems. But that's that's impressive. He look, he's been looking good. I, no, we've had him twice here on Box Nation, and he's looked tremendous both times. Uh, the more we see him, the better, that's what I say. And, I, and I'd love to see him here with Chris Eubank Jr. I think it'd be a massively explosive fight. He went over to America and he, he sparred Sal Alvarez. But he got a bit of respect from the Mexican as well with that sort of power and precision. Here's Mark Burdis. Ladies and gentlemen, at 2.14 of the first round, your referee has accepted Martinez's corner's decision to retire him. The winner and now the new WBO European Super Middleweight Champion from Swindon in the blue corner, Jamie Cox. Good performance. He'll get himself into the rankings with that one. That's what tonight's about. He can look to the future with a bit of optimism after those years of frustration. Thank you, John. John Rawling and Barry Jones with your commentators ringside here at uh, Wembley Arena. And Jamie Cox, just one round. We saw him last time flattening Alistair Warren at the Civic Hall in Wolverhampton and less than a round as well for Blas Miguel Martinez before the white towel fluttered in. He is a talent. He is a destructive hitter as well. Hand problems outside the ring and finding it hard to get fights too. But Steve Lillis... He has uh, made a stamp on the scene there, isn't he, in, yeah. in no uncertain terms. As Barry, we first saw signs of it when he beat Alistair Warren, and then he's, he's won this um, title tonight. You know, his second sort of decent title he's won. He formerly rode the Commonwealth Light Middleweight. You know, he's into like, the second phase of his career, and he's showing he's determined to make the most of it, and he's got to...